What up guys? This is Monkey Figure Reviews and today we have big news. We are going to discuss the upcoming One Piece Figure Arts Zero Extra Battle Yonko Kaido figure. His release date is October 2021 this year. His price is 13,500 yen and his height is 32 cm. So we have known for a couple of weeks now that this figure will be coming out because it has been teased by Bandai and Figure at Zero and we have the official images so we can see how Kaido is going to look like and for his height, like I mentioned, 32cm, I believe he is a little bit bigger than both Ichiban Kuji Kaidos, the one that had already came out and also the other one that will be coming out this year the one from Best of Onimbus Ichiban Kuji and I think for the price and the height 13,500 yen this offers a great alternative to Mega House's Portrait of Pirates Kaido especially for those of us who couldn't afford that Kaido or who are not willing to pay that much for that Kaido figure so I reckon most of you are actually very excited about this figure and based on the comments that I've seen online, on social media, as well as my figure collection website, all of you seems to be very happy with what you have seen for this Kaido prototype. And now we are going to look through some of the images. We don't really have a lot at this point in time, maybe three or four. This is the official banner and this is the first image of Kaido. So right off the bat for me, my first impression when I first saw this Kaido was that I felt his legs are a little bit too tiny. Sort of out of proportion, if I put it that way. I do think that his legs could have been a bit longer and a bit thicker. If you compare this for example to P.O.P. Kaido, I feel that that Kaido has a better body proportion throughout. So. When I look at this Kaido, it just seems like the legs can't really support their massive upper body that well. Uh, doesn't seem very accurate to how his body proportion is also in the source material. But it could be just me. Uh, this is the first thing I noticed and, and it stood out to me right away. Of course, looking at the figure now, judging it overall, I can say that I am quite impressed. There's a few things that I like. Number one, I like that for this figure at zero, at the very least, they are going for the more realistic style. Hence, you have this very well-defined muscle sculpt in his upper body. Even the scar itself, you can see some sort of texturing and depth layering. And also the details on his outfit are all quite pronounced. Same for his weapon. Secondly, I like that they sort of added this you know this weird smoke effect i know they couldn't do it as awesome as pop but you know such things just add a little bit more extra and it, it fits the figure at zero title because figure at zero extra battle usually you have those special effects uh coming out of the figure they could have gone for something more amazing but at least the smoke they have given kaido a menacing aura other things i like like his face I feel that they have captured his character's likeness quite well. He has that uh, signature Kaido's snarl, just you know, the face all munched up and squeezed together, looking very pissed and wrinkled. He looks especially angry here, I gotta say. Probably more angry than other Kaido figures. And yeah, I think the upper body sculpt is really amazing. And even by looking from the front, you can see the details on the feathers or fur on his back seems to be quite detailed as well supported by three pillars of stones i guess at the bottom to provide support for the figure this is another angle a little bit from the side unfortunately i believe we do not have other angles as of now like from the back or for other close-ups so this image doesn't really offer much doesn't really offer other new uh, details that we can look into maybe slightly more for the fur coats behind and some of this smoke effects yeah so i think texturing wise overall the figure it's honestly quite quite good on the horns you can see for yourself a little bit of a rough texturing and i mentioned before the weapon how they make it look rough the pants some creases but not too crazy the boots painted with a black glossy paint this is a close-up image so we can have a better look on Kaido's face 
as well as the hair flying outwards. Those are quite decent. Once again, you can see for yourself the details on his weapon and texturing. Uh, I like the glossy paints. I like the I like the rough texture. I think that is well done. The scar details, it's also quite evident here. Quite good. And I gotta say, looking at him from this angle, Kaido's face, to me, does look a little weird. And I'm not sure if that's because usually when you look at Kaido from the front, uh, what do you call that? Like his, his eyebrows or his upper lids? Basically, this area, like the forehead skin on, on the top of his eyes, usually droops a little bit over. So you don't get a clear view of Kaido's eyes from the front. This m looks more like him. But mainly because we're looking at him here from the side and on a close-up, you can see his eyeballs more clearly, which is unusual. And it kind of throws me off a little bit. But at least from this image from the front, I think he looks fine. He looks great. So uh, it could be just you know a weird angle, a weird perspective that we don't usually see quite often. That's all the images we have of Kaido right now. So quite limited. Maybe a couple of months down the road, they might release more for us to see. But as of now, we have to work with this three or four. And for me, I do think that this Kaido, he will be a good buy for most of us. Uh, because first of all, I think price-wise, he is actually quite okay. He is quite affordable. In fact, you know, in my country, he is cheaper. Uh, talking about the pre-order price, it's cheaper than the Ichiban Kuji Kaido when it was released. I think now the Ichiban Kuji Kaido has dropped a little bit because there's a second one coming out. And of course, now you have this figure zero coming out. The price is lower than before. So, uh, and of course, it's not as expensive and crazy as your POP Kaido. And of course, he still looks good. He still looks amazing. Main gripe for me, still the same. When I look at this picture, I still feel that his legs are a little bit too short and not thick enough. So his proportions are somewhat off. But it could be just me because I have not seen anyone mention this except for myself. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's just me uh, having a weird impression of Kaido in the manga anime. Or you know, I'm having trouble understanding how he's supposed to look like. And as always, I have to mention this because this is Figurette Zero. Uh, it's up to your prerogative what you want to do, but for FZ, Figurette Zero, for quite some time already, they have not been doing very well when it comes to the final product of the figures. Okay? So, what you see in front of you, the prototype might look amazing, but the actual figure, we might have more shortfalls than what you see here. Maybe you get a random seam line around the arms or I don't know maybe the texture actually is not as realistic as what we see here uh, poor finishing it's actually quite common so even like for the Luffy Paramount War that I reviewed like in the prototype there was no seam line around the wrist and in the final product it just appeared out of nowhere so that was something that I'm quite unhappy about and this is a risk for figure zero right now if you purchase a figure from them keep that in mind before you order this figure and just, I guess, temper your expectations in case you get too disappointed or let down. Alright, as usual, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on new videos like this. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Goodbye.